you know that's the pussy with all the pink meat missing, right? <laughs> you gonna fuck around with them goddamn dirt bike marks on the end of your thigh and shit. You understand? A whole lot of older ladies in this motherfucker tonight. Older ladies, make some noise, please. Yeah. I hate man, I don't know how y'all do. Yeah, I caught me one of them older chicks around there. Oh, you clap your hand with these older ladies? How old you at? 40-something. Oh, you 40-something? Yeah, you old. I'm like, hey, man. I caught me one of them old brides over there at the right age. She was in that motherfucker buying the cure code and then game. I got down all on. I said, hey, Nana, how you doing? You understand? She standing there, that, that big old boy, that silver head, she turned around with a mouthful of gold teeth in her pocket. I said, who we give me a project, bitch? Shit. I said, girl, what's your name? She said, I'm burning that dog. I said, what's your burning? I got a fifth of Manny Shepherds in the car. I'm trying to talk. See the thing. We hop in the truck, you know, I throw a little music, move music on. Drifting on a bed. Hey, she get a cup of that Maddie Shepard, throw that shit back. Bitch, gonna look over me time on some night. You know I don't usually do this. I said, wait a minute, ma'am. The paw prints on your titties is telling me otherwise. Okay? So you're not about to hit me in the head with that bullshit. You know? She took me back to that little senior building. And you know at the senior building, you know you got Mabel at, at the front desk, she all nosy and shit, you hear me? You know, she told me something, hey, hey, Bernie, how you doing, baby, is this your son? I said, shit, I might look young enough to be a son, but I'm going to be big daddy in this bitch tonight. Yeah, yeah. I ain't playing no game. Shit, we get upstairs to the, the apartment, you don't smell nothing but mall balls and white diamonds and you walk the door and shit. You feel me? I get in the bathroom, shit, I knew I was in for a good goddamn time, boy, she had that big red boiling bag hanging over the tongue, you know, a little vinegar by the sink. You hear me? I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, sir. I said, this old bitch got some tricks. You hear me? I come out with my little silk boxer, she got new rolls playing. She sprawled across the bed with one leg out them skin tone stockings. You know, little, little slip hiked up. I get to walking towards the bed, she pop her top teeth out, put them in that little sprite glass by the bed. I said, God damn, baby, I ain't never had no head with the ceiling missing. Shit. Well, I'm telling you, she put that sunroof sloppy top on a nigga I made and lost my mind, you know what I mean? I'm serious, it was a different type of sound coming from that mouth. She said, the Parkinson's got the hanging up on a nigga, she's really went crazy in that thing. I'm telling you, boy, I'm talking, I'm talking about my thighs locked up on me, you know, my eyes rolled in the back of my head. She turned me into the Pillsbury Doughboy out of this motherfucker. I mean, I'm trying to get it together, and I'm just, <laughs> that's all that came out. Real shit, I'm telling you, I woke up to $10 on the dresser and the brand new shorts, you know what I mean? Shit. I had to get myself together. I stood up, you know, I'll get myself together. She gonna rub me on my chest. Tell me something. I said, bitch, what? <laughs> I said, bitch, put your butter to you, baby. I said, bitch, put your top T fan talking to me. What the fuck is going on? Shit. She said, how that wisdom pussy was to you, baby. I said, oh, 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 okay. okay. That's what you said. I said, no, nah, bitch, we gonna have to do this shit again. You won't be at bingo talking about how you fucked the shit out of me. You hear me? What you talking about? You sitting at the table with your girlfriend, y'all talking about B 26. Girl, you know I'm fucking shit out of that young girl. <laughs> fuck you up. I bombed that goddamn stocking cap and went to work, you hear me? I bit the old ass over that out of jail. I mean, the motherfucking knees got the tricking and ticking. The girl, she ain't got no call. It sound like somebody rolling dice to that motherfucker, you hear me? I start tearing that ass up from the back. I said, come on, seven with your funky ass. I wasn't playing with her. Shit. God damn, man, I'm telling you, this is serious out here, man. This is great.
I'm tearing that ass up from the back, Jack. She gonna look back at me, tell me something. Let's do something nasty. I said, what you trying to do next? She said, let's do it like they do it in the movies. I said, baby, well, what you got? She gonna hit the demonstration on the DVD player. You know that West Coast Productions come across the TV. Look at y'all, y'all some nasty motherfuckers. Y'all know exactly what the fuck I was talking about. These porn hub babies don't know shit about that West Coast production. You hear me? You understand? Them motherfucking Earl's videos, tape on top of the goddamn the China cabinet. You know what I mean? Cotton tails, number 28, number 62, big booties out this bitch. Y'all don't know nothing about that. When that motherfucker West Coast Productions come across the TV screen, Jack, and it said Wesley Pipes as Martin Luther King. Jake Steed as Michael Jackson. I said, hold on, baby, we're gonna have to sit down and watch this hair. Goddamn Martin coming that motherfucker. He talking about some hello, Corella. Go on, put them kids down, cause I'm finna come to get down. I'm about to climb a mountain top in this pussy. I'm about to let free the ring in this mother. God damn it, and if the dick don't work, I'm going to eat that ass. I'm going to eat that ass. Good God Almighty, I'm going to eat that ass. Thank you. Hot Jemaliah. I said, God damn, I'm going to need a copy of this here. You hear me? Wasn't playing with it, Jack. That motherfucker Jake Steed, he come in. This nigga as Michael Jackson, he kicked the door and out this motherfucker. He. Shh. I said, shh. I'm going to feed you dick and balls throughout the nighttime. And let you know that ass is mine. And then I'm gonna dig it out. Create a notion. And it's so good you might go blind. Make you say why, why, why you eat this coochie like an apple pie? Do you like it that way? Did you love it that way? I'm about to come, girl. Oh, 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 oh. I said, God damn. Old bro had me fucked up for about two years, Jack. I'm chasing behind this toothless bitch. She ignoring my calls and shit. Got a nigga singing songs and shit. I'm standing out on the corner. My main bitch treat me like a side hoe. I asked for proof, Chris, she took me to McDonald's. She bought a two for two of sweet tea and some small fries. But what the fuck that do for me, bitch, I'm a big guy. She said, drink that sweet tea, eat them french fries. After that, get your meat, you gon' eat me. I said, this some bullshit, it's my birthday. I wanna choke this ugly bitch in the worst way. She had me fucked up, Jack. But you know, with this comedy shit, man, I appreciate Tony Day, man, TVT, man, y'all doing it big, but I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. I'm getting a couple hours with this situation here now, you know? I'm getting paid for my work. You know, I'm in the house the other day. My old lady come in the house. She kissed me on the cheek as usual, you know? She go in the kitchen, she run back out, slap me in the back of my head. I said, what the fuck you hit me for? She said, who is this bitch in my kitchen? Washing my dishes, cleaning my clothes. I said, hey, baby girl, the lifestyle that I lead, it affords me certain minutes. You see, I make a lot of money. I look good. Now I can hire some help. You feel me? So she slide on out. You know, she coming back an hour later. She said, "Baby, I need to go to the. I need to go to the, the market. Come on, take me." I said, "Don't worry about that. I got you, girl. I'ma send you an Uber. Luxury. 
You hear me? She said, why the fuck you gonna send me in an Uber when we got a car outside in the motherfucking garage? I said, hey. And then see the lifestyle that I lead. Baby, it affords me a certain amenity. You hear me? See, I make a lot of money. I look good. You understand? Now I can hide some out. You know, so here we are, date night. We slide out. Ruth Chris situation, you know? She looked me dead in my eyes. She said, baby, when you get back to the house, I got something for you. I said, what you got, girl? She said, when you go up, when you get in the house, go straight upstairs, get butt naked. I said, ooh, shit, it's going down tonight. I get straight to the house. We go, I run the line straight upstairs, come straight out my drawers, jump in the bed. So I hear the door close. I cut the light off. I said, baby, that's you. She ain't say nothing. So I get in the bed, you know, the covers come up, you know, she creep up under that motherfucker. I said, oh, girl, you ain't never did that before. You know? She hop up under the covers. I'm talking about putting that mouth on a nigga. Not mouth, but mouth. You understand? <laughs> putting it on me, you hear me? I said, baby, damn, this look good. This feel good. I got to cut the light on. I need to see what you're doing. You understand? I need to see what's happening out there. You know that. You know, you know, I need to see what's going on. I cut the light on, put pull the covers back out, but goddamn it, if it ain't the housekeeper, Miss Rodriguez. I look to the left. She over this motherfucker sound asleep. I slap her in the back of that motherfucker head. I said, why the fuck is Miss Rodriguez in my bed? She said, hey, nigga. Let's see the lifestyle I lead. Hey, y'all, they call me Bobby and Ben, man. I appreciate y'all time. Good job.